Hi, um, this is a short video expanding on my previous video about the modifications made to the Phantom transmitter. Um, I've dissembled uh, most of this now to um, show you something about the range extender mod. Um, there's my range extender. Um, I've got some uh, 3M Velcro on the front here, which is how I attach the Horizon uh, 2.4 gig aerial and the uh, two chassis connectors here for connecting the uh, two 2.4 gig outputs to the uh, Horizon aerial or antennas I should say. Um, the point I wanted to make um, is about the modification itself. Um, this has been explained in great detail by other people so um, I don't intend to go into any detail. Needless to say you make two holes for the chassis connectors and you put your pigtails onto the two small connectors on the board. There's also um, a couple of small antennas behind this PCB and I actually took those out. I believe that anything that sort of resonates on that frequency so close to the transmitter circuitry isn't a good idea. So to do that remove the small screws, take the PCB out gently peel peel away the RF shielding which is this grey cardboard with uh, copper sandwich between it uh, a laminate it's the same material that's in the uh, phantom body shell below the GPS unit um, and I removed the two antennas and reassembled it this is documented very well on other videos on the internet the thing that's not documented is this. Look at the way my battery was fitted in the range extender. I don't know if you can see that. But um, glued securely in a very, very poor fashion. Um, which means that there's virtually no room left for the small chassis connectors. So if you're doing this mod I would suggest the first thing you do when you open up the range extender is look at the orientation of your battery and see how it's stuck to the lid of the range extender because to my mind that's about the most important thing when you start this mod because that dictates where these go if this battery is seated further back which some are you have uh, much more clearance here and you're able to complete the mod so th that's my range extender mod um, it was done with uh, a Dremel uh, as opposed to a drill less chance of uh, tearing the plastic the, the phantom plastic is quite a soft plastic and it works well with the Dremel I had to um, really go to town uh, grinding away here to get these in on my range extender because of the awkward position of the battery. The other changes were of course to uh, fit the 5.8 gig connector. Again a well documented mod. I actually went for the glue removal on the PCB and it wasn't too difficult so no problem with that um, not really much to add I chopped the end off I haven't even uh, tidied this up yet although uh, I don't think I ever will but um, there we are uh, works very well uh, the addition of my aerials originally I was using uh, 9db on the 5.8 and that got me out uh, two miles distant but I've since replaced that 
with the larger Horizon 5.8 uh, where are we Horizon 5.8 left hand circuit circular polarized uh, I believe this is uh, 12 dB as opposed to I believe the 9 of the original very very good antennas can't praise them highly enough Will's run off his feet I believe producing antennas so don't um, uh, don't expect an instant reply he does his best but um, he's often very very busy but um, he certainly provides outstanding service so um, those are the 5.8 antennas I'm using and you saw on the uh, other video the the 2.4 gig antenna this is um, this works very very well and it's nowhere near as heavy as as it looks so with the addition of uh, a small bracket here and a sliding releasable cable tie end on a cable tie that allows me to hold that and relieve the uh, strain on this uh, joint here and it works very well at the moment I've been out to 2.2 miles with this um, I hope to go out to uh, close on 4 miles eventually and uh, obviously I'll uh, let you know how I do by the way uh, this is one of the small aerials that's in the range extender there's two of those and as I said I removed it or them other people haven't um, personal preference so there you go that's my uh, more detailed view of the uh, transmitter setup and my recommendations reference your wireless range extender so first thing when you open it up have a look at how that battery is orientated makes a big difference to how you do the mod you you could drill the holes in the wrong place otherwise pretty much dictated by the position of this okay thanks very much and uh, look forward to seeing you on my other videos